Imagine now that you have been busy moving scenes, adding script elements, redefining script elements, only to realize just how wrong you have been. Your script was actually better an hour ago before you started messing with it. Although there's no way to regain that hour out of your life, with Screenwriter you can revert your script back to an earlier version. First go up to the menu bar to the File menu and click Close. And you might as well save changes here because you may change your mind about changing your mind. Then go back to the File menu and click Open. At the top of this dialog box, notice that there is a pick list called Enable. Click that and what you want is the second option, Previous Save Versions with an extension of BK that denotes Backup. You now need to find the folder where your backups have been saved. By default, Screenwriter software automatically creates this Movie Magic Screenwriter folder within your Documents folder if you're working on Macintosh. If you're working in on a computer using Windows, this would be in the folder named My Documents. You can, of course, save your script in a different folder if you prefer, but in whichever folder you use, you now need to find another folder called Previous Versions. So find that Previous Versions folder, double click on it, and you will notice a number of files here. Uh, they, uh, the file names begin with the name of your script file and they end with a number. The higher the number, the more recent the version. So this highest version here is going to be the one you just saved. You don't want that one. So double click the file with the next highest number. Now let's make sure that uh, this is the version that doesn't have what uh, the, the changes that we made most recently. So we open on scene 32. That is in fact interior treehouse and it doesn't have either of the script notes that I added to it. Now notice something very important up at the top of the window. The name. This name is example screenplay. 30.bk. This is the backup file we're looking at. So before you decide to make this your current working copy, if in fact you do decide this should be your uh, working copy, you need to save it as a standard screenwriter file. You do that by going up to the file menu and selecting Save As. You can see that the software automatically gives you the appropriate extension here, MMSW for Movie Magic Screenwriter. So what you need to do now is give it a meaningful name. What I would suggest is using the existing name, the working title name, example screenplay, and just append a, a number on the end. So you can tell this is a, your, your most recent version and you can differentiate this from your other working version that you've already saved. Click Save, and now check the uh, title bar up here. It says Example Screenplay 2.